from leading on from that one so we've now got um something that i wanted to do uh i'm gonna jump over to your screen so you can see this uh i have been in awe absolute awe for a number of years of the uh craftsmanship that goes into a metal master origin lightsaber chassis just because they're they are literally a work of art uh, that's the only way you can put it so i'm gonna check this out i've not seen this yet mb sabers first and foremost that's a gorgeous hilt No, oh, the side holes are much bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh. Damn, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if you wanted to... If somebody wanted to see a real lightsaber, say a five-year-old wanted to see a real lightsaber... And like, Daddy, Daddy, I want to see one. If you got this out and you showed it to them, they would absolutely, completely believe and swear in their life that lightsabers are completely real. Because when I look at this, I'm like, that is real. That is, that is ex you know, you couldn't believe that it's more real than anything else. <coughs> <coughs> If you if you needed a working machine, you could not believe that was it. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Glass eye retention screw. Oh right. I didn't know that came out. Well this is why watching the video, isn't it? Good suggestion, guys. Just got to pause it there. Holy crap! Look at that! Oh! Wow! Look at the amount of detail on there! Oh! Jesus Christ, that's amazing! And this is all metal. It's not plastic. It's all metal. Oh. I can't even begin to think of the level of engineering this hilt would take to make. This is, like, on another level to anything in the world. Look at that. So these little bits, these here, lock into place on there. That is, that is like ultra precision engineering. Ultra precision engineering. And then your power gets transferred through those rings onto this here. I mean, ah. Oh. I mean, are these made by machine? They must be made. There's no way you can get that level of precision by hand. It must be machine manufactured. I wish I knew the answer. God, look at that. Aluminium, brass, copper. Little tiny doors. Oh my God. Kyber crystal module and necklace and a necklace you wouldn't wear as a necklace what if you bloody lost it magnetic clasp oh
Oh. I didn't know I did that. Damn, that's bright. Holy crap. So when they make the films, they'll just go to this guy and say, can you make us a lightsaber? Because holy Jesus Christ, they look like amazing things. Who is this guy? He must have a master's in engineering or something. I mean, I know I'm good, but damn, this guy's next level. He's just suddenly showing off now, isn't he? I'm so jealous right now. So jealous. It's a work of art. My god, that little piece moves as well. What? Oh, so you can lock it. Alright, so you can put it back in place. You need to just pull that down. And it's just locked in place, like completely. I know this is about £8,000. And I totally understand why. <laughs> You can control it and stuff? He's not being gentle with that, is he? But it's all solid metal, I mean, I suppose you could do that. Blade plug. Near pixel with really powerful 50 50 RGB LEDs uh, in the top. Oh, he's just showing off now. He's got red lights at the bottom, and he's got lights on the side next to the display screen. It also has a display screen! Spectrum. How the hell does he get a motor in that thing? Oh my god, so you just rotate it to get the colour or something? how snug of a fit that is oh my god it's an rgb crystal are you fucking kidding me seriously what the is going on okay Oh, I need to put it all back together and turn it on. You git. I hate you now. I hate you so, so much. Jesus. Wow. So it's like £8,000 for that. And I wouldn't normally say this. Um, that's a steal. Like, eight grand for that. Yeah, okay, I'd pay. 
I'll be honest with you guys. I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, I was going to do one last ditch attempt to create something very similar to that. Um, and I was actually going to try and do it where it's going to be uh, coated metal coated parts. So uh, it actually look and feel like metal. Uh, but it was 3D printed with metal and then have it electroplated um, and actually try and make something that was actually very, very similar to that. And I was going to be looking at them selling for like two, two to two and a half grand, something like that. Um, but um, in this day's climate, there's just no way people could afford that much. Uh, obviously, people, the super rich go to him. Um, but damn, that thing was good. Oh, Jesus.